So I had a question. Uh, Ray Nicole said, you're going to ruin the look of the Evo and the, all the parts with that ugly ass enclosure. So this is pretty much the ugly ass enclosure I use. It's much thicker. Um, but what I like is that, um, you know, I've hit a lot of stuff on the road and it's, it's, it's a solid. This is like a nylon plastic. Um, even though it's cheap, it's very, you know, it's very hard. And the good thing with this one is that's why I'm making double stack. I can fit double stack, even maybe triple stacked. And there's room for a full uh, dual flip ski uh, via VESC, right? Now, let me show you a battery box that I ordered from M Boards. All right, so I ordered this. And this thing is just super thin, all right? Super thin. So if your battery keeps flexing, all right, your battery pack is going to just basically move around all right if in a big impact this is not safe it could potentially cost short on your battery pack now when they shipped it to me i order three boxes both came broken they were so weak that uh i also order with battery they shipped it with the battery inside somehow it got cracked both both of the units and i contacted m boards uh, talked to Mike Beard and he said he was gonna send me a new one All right, and he never he never did um, I don't actually want to use it. So I Have this on my um, Mad Max. I just duct taped it But also the screws are kind of screwed up because the way it's the it's been designed you screw from the bottom up They give you these screws, but they don't they're they're really hard to fit and the problem is the the screws should be separated right from the actual compartment if you have this just in the compartment what happens is you might have wires and your screws might go over it a better design is something like this where the screws are away from the actual inside of the enclosure so i don't like this design because it's a you have to uh screw the screws from the bottom and that also makes it less waterproof i i just prefer the simple um you know for these i can just have the screws come in from the top and you can see i could put 200 300 pounds of force probably like a thousand pounds it's not gonna flex all right it's a thick plastic nylon all right versus this this is gonna make everything inside flex whatever it is battery box vsc and i just feel unsafe especially if you get in an accident if you hit like a curb and if it breaks what are you gonna do but I've, I've hit, uh, you know, curbs, all kinds of stuff. All I get is a bunch of scratches because this is solid. Like if you look at the design of like boosted board, uh, they also use nylon plastic. So I think there's trade-off. I mean, obviously, if you want to use a thin battery pack, you do want that flex. But that's the reason I'm using something thicker so I can use a shorter battery pack that's double stacked. Now, obviously, you're not going to have the clearance, but the good thing is that my battery is protected. And also, since my battery is not so long, I don't have to worry about the flex. So there's always going to be trade-offs. So for this, you definitely have to design a battery uh, that's going to flex a lot. Um, and the, another problem is M board sells their own batteries. I order all of it, the 10S, 2P, 10S, 4P, 12S. And I put it in there and the VESC doesn't fit. I barely have enough room to, you know, the dual flip skis, they don't fit. So this is a huge problem. I would, I would avoid any kind of thin cases. I'm not making an example of, out of M boards, but you know, I've, I've, I even contacted Mike Beard and told him about the problem. Um, but this is a real thin case that you don't want to use because, you know, with electric skateboarding, when you get in an accident, you don't want your battery box to break. You want it hardcore. This is not going to break. This is only going to break if you hit a car at like 40 miles per hour. This shit is going to break at 5 miles per hour. You know? Um. So I, I'm trying to find... Maybe I'm, I'm thinking there's people that are making like uh, fiberglass enclosures. Um, so I might look into that. But I would totally stay away from you know, thin cases like this. Um, of course, M boards, 
battery, I have it here, they built the battery real well. So what the whole M boards thought is that, okay, we're gonna make the battery very solid so you can put in a thin case. But this makes it really bulky. Look at this battery. It's It's got, it should be, it could be a lot thinner, but basically it's a bunch of foam and you know, it takes up a ton of space, extra space that you could save. So I'd rather have a hard battery box, but really minimize the battery pack. All right, so the battery box should protect the battery pack. The battery pack, I guess if you use this, it's pretty good along with this. That's Embor's idea. But where I got lost is I started making my own batteries and I'm trying to make it, you know, fit as best as possible. But I opened up Embor's battery and look at this. It's just half of it is foam. All right. It's very inefficient as far as uh, space wise. Um, and, you know, with the 10S 4P, you know, I can barely fit a vest. I can't even fit my dual flip ski. So I just want to give you, you know, I, I'm actually thinking about building a longer battery, but as far as enclosures, you just really want to make sure it's bulletproof because, you know, once your battery box uh, gets punctured or you know, impact in an accident, it's going to start a big fire and you don't want that fire. So no matter how good your battery is, um, if you if the battery pack is not protected, it's not safe, right? And this, you know, I've I've crashed at what twenty five miles per hour, broke my rib, bunch of stuff. The battery box never breaks, right? So even though this is somewhat the cheaper Chinese model, um, I do like the flat tabs, like I said, so I can drill from the top, makes it easy. But, you know, you don't need screws on all the sides. You just need it on the right and the left, just like how the boosted does it. This is just too much, too many screws. Um, and you can see it, it just makes it weak when you have it like the, the, the screws like that. Even screw down, it just flexes too much. It's just a very bad design. Um, but yeah, if you guys know any good, really strong designs that work with uh, long battery packs, um, do let me know. Um, I'm trying to actually build something a little bit thinner. This is good, but only problem is the clearance, obviously. And I'm using a drop down deck. And I haven't really had problems, but when I go over like the bumps, you know, <laughs> it'll always scratch my battery box. I mean, it, it, it doesn't do anything because it's such a hard thing, but I still want to have more clearance. So I just want to give you some thoughts on my, you know, how I ended up just using this type of box instead of this one. But really, for me, it's about safety. Um, using this, you will be safe, even that you know, 40 miles per hour crash. This, your battery will be destroyed. Everything inside will be destroyed if you get in a big accident and somehow you impact right there. This is just cheap stuff. So let me know your thoughts.